I'm sure you're familiar with these spade fuses that are used in cars and all sorts of stuff these days. I uh, had an application where I was doing solar camping boxes and RO water supplies and I was using these type of fuses and then I ran across these uh, circuit breaker type uh, fuses if you will and I thought well that would be really good because if you're out in the field you, you don't want to lose a fuse and then you know have no access to fresh water or or whatever you need for your camping uh, and yeah, so I picked up one of these and then it occurred to me, I was going to put it in my wife's car and it occurred to me that I wonder how good these really are. Because, you know, a typical fuse, it should break about uh, somewhere about 50% over its rating. So this is a 5 amp. It should blow somewhere about 7 amps. And you want it to blow pretty quickly. I mean, I have seen a wire, a shorted wire in a car go incandescent and start burning. Uh, literally within a second. So, yeah. Um, and uh, let's give this a shot and see what it actually does for us. Uh, I've got this set up about 12.4 volts, which is pretty typical for, you know, car application. When I short this, the voltage is going to drop, but I can control the amperage. As you can see the number down here, the amperage down here. And we can control that, get my hand out of the way. Um, and I'll take it up to 5 amps and nothing. And then we'll go up to uh, 7.5. Nope, nothing yet. So let's run it up to 10. And uh, it hasn't blown yet. Hasn't blown yet. Um, yeah, finally. Okay. So uh, I don't know about you, but in uh, most applications, that length of time you know your wires would be burning and so i uh i decided not to go with these things i went back to the uh, spade fuses but uh, how about we cut this thing open and see what's going on inside there at least we'll learn something from it let's see if i can keep this on camera I am not going to attempt to save it because frankly I don't trust it and I am not going to put it in my wife's car or my car or anything else I own um, because of what we've already seen if I have a if I want circuit protection I want circuit protection right now not after the wires have gone incandescent and you know the car is burning or whatever then it's a little bit late okay let me it's just got these two little clips and i just i've already stretched the plastic out come on betsy you can do it. There we go. Okay. Let me get in a little bit closer. So this is a rather simple system. It seems to work strictly from heat. That's a thermal breaker. The electricity, of course, comes in one side passes through this piece of metal and down unless of course the circuit breaker is popped and then let's look at how that works so this is a piece of bimetal and as the current flows through here it heats up and when it heats up it snaps i'll show you that in a second and when it snaps open that plastic uh, tab that you push to reset it has that little arm, it has a plastic arm on it right there. And when those contacts go open, this is allowed to go up by this little spring right there. And you know, this seems to be the weakness in this whole system because that spring has already popped out of there twice. Um, I wonder if you shook this really hard if it would come out of there. Um, okay, so the spring holds tension holds pressure against that, that uh, 
reset button and on the reset button is a plastic arm and when this contact and this contact separate this is allowed to jump up and it puts that plastic arm right in between the two contacts and it stays that way until you push down on it again see if I can do that there we go click now in this mode the two contacts are together and of course electricity will flow from this leg up here through that rivet through the bimetal strip from this contact to this contact and then of course out there so let's uh, take a little bit closer look at this system let's activate this thing normally the cover restrains this from popping all the way out but I have to use my fingers so the bimetal strip gets hot it expands outward I will use this to do that hear that little click yeah and if my fingers were not in the way the little flag will jump up there there it goes and now we can see that those two contacts are open held open by that plastic arm on the reset knob and all that made possible by that little spring and that's pretty much it okay well that is our thermal spade fuse. That's uh, supposed to be a replacement for automobiles. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your electronic projects and uh, automobile projects.